I just said it's yesterday. early. I know. Yes, okay. Who is ready for some live girl chat? Yay! Let's get it started. We love hearing from you, so make sure that you head over to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the conversation. I love hearing what you have to say. Yes. Now let's get down to business. I think we should give some money away. Do you feel that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, guess what? Yes. I've got one thousand dollars right here. Where's that? Boom. Hi. That's there a lot it of is. Money. I'm money. Up with it. <laughs> that we want to give away to one lucky viewer. That's right, it's time for The Reels Dollar Hollaback. <laughs> this is so exciting, I, I love know, it. I love it. Okay, I'm about to shout out one lucky fan's name and their Instagram handle. Okay. If you hear your handle, you have until the end of the show to message us back on Instagram. Make sure to tag us at The Real Daytime so we can get notified. If you holla back at us in time, you are going to win this $1,000 right here. Yes. It is yours. Yes. Woo! Yes. If you know the person that she's about to call out, yes. call her at her. Yes, help out. Be the yes. good Samaritan to tell him to get this money. Yes. yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? We want to hear up. from <laughs> Latasha Anderson. Latasha. Whose Instagram handle is at PYT Tasha. Cute. All right. At PYT Tasha. It's right there underneath me. Okay. Now, Latasha, if you're watching, head to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and DM us. Not, not in a few minutes, but like now, right, right now. If anyone watching knows Latasha, tag her, wake her up, to help her get paid, okay? Yes. yes. The second we hear from her, we'll break into the show and let everyone know. All yes. right. Can't wait to hear from you. I know. All right, well, the Real Housewives of New York are hollering at Bravo after taking what they're calling a cruise from hell. Uh -oh. The Housewives, including Bethany Frankel, were taking a pleasure cruise in Cartagena, Colombia, mm. when the boat started taking on water and the engine caught on fire. Oh, oh. Lord. Yes, at one point, the crew even had to saw off the anchor before they could sail away. What? Whoa. A fan took a picture of the housewives looking very disheveled in a Colombian I airport. Can't. I know. <laughs> Ramona Singer is even in a wheelchair, you guys, from reportedly twisting her ankle. Oh, wow. Page Six is reporting oh, that the laughing. housewives... I know, right? Right? This is terrible. Yeah. The housewives now want to sue Bravo, uh -oh. but that their contracts might make that very hard. Mm. Wow. So I want to understand a little bit more behind this because... Is it Bravo's fault that the cruise itself is what broke apart? You know, it's, it's, just, it's just a little crazy, but I want to say this is where I really appreciate our production company because yes. our, our production is when we travel, we've gone to the White House. You guys threw me out there across different <laughs> cities, <laughs> yes. and I had to jump into live shows and give away money like <laughs> we did now, and they have handled us so safely, so, like, carefully. We're precious cargo, and we made everything safe. But I don't think anyone's intentions are ever no. for this to go wrong. They could have never predicted that this went wrong. What kind of cruise? What cruise was I that? Know, well, have you guys seen the movie, Romancing the Stone? Oh, I thought you were going to say Titanic. Oh, no. <laughs> How that was like, well, no, but they kind of have those kind of experiences. Yeah. And I don't know, sometimes reality uh, television show producers can be a little calculated. Mm -hmm. I think maybe what they wanted to do was create a fish out of water mm. experience. And maybe they Literally. got a little bit more than that. The, it was more I mean? fish in water. Yes. Yeah. 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 The boat, though. See, this is why when I go on cruises, because I've been on some, yeah. you know, the first thing I do is I go find who the captain is, right? Really? Yes. My last one I went on, ooh, that was a good one. It was just yes. a little four day one to in yeah. Sonata. Yes. I met the captain. His name was Captain Bruno. I like me some Captain Bruno. Hey, Captain Bruno. Yeah. Yes. This is true. I always, yeah. when you guys board a plane, do you always, always. make contact with the pilot? Always. Like, you oh, look at me, you're like, we good, right? And you got when me. I get off, when I get off, I'm like, thank you for getting me here. Yes, yes. Exactly. Like, exactly. I so much. Uh, Captain Can't Bruno gave me a hands. tour. And on the cruise ships, they have like a prison. They have a hospital. See, I be wanting to know where all those places are just in case I had to visit them, right? Wait, wait, I wait. Meet the prison? There's a prison, prison on cruise yeah. ships? Because when you out on sea, people get unruly. And if they get unruly, they put them in jail. They have like See, a little jail. You, yeah. I would never, how many of you guys knew that? I had no idea. Me either. That's why you need I've to know who them. the captain is and talk to that <laughs> captain. Okay, yeah. get Captain Bruno. I've yes. never been on a cruise before, mm -hmm. but watching some of these things, Makes 
me not want to go on one. Have you been on a cruise? Ah, no. uh, yes. I used to go on a lot. We did this yeah. thing called, my sister and I did this thing called Sail with the Stars. So they had lots of celebrities. We were all stuck on a cruise. But, you know, some fans, yeah. they, they paid for, for us to kind of be there and sign autographs and play. Oh, that's uh, But that's it was awesome. a lot of fun because we had fun adventures. But it was never like that, thank God. Cruises are really, m the majority of cruises are nice. They're yeah. fun. You know, it's, most of them are all inclusive except mm -hmm. for the alcohol, you know. But anyway, Bruno took care of that. Uh, <laughs> But we, they're, they're really nice and they're, they're really safe. And it's yeah. a really fun thing to do, especially if you have uh, large families mm -hmm. and you want to, you know, bring everybody um, together. Except, are we, we going to show the, um, the family that got into the little brawl? There was... Okay. Oh, that, oh, that was you too. Okay, happened. yeah, yes, but there was did. like you know, but that rarely happens. Yes. It's really all you do on a on a cruise is you drink, you have fun, you you go to different ports, and you just yeah. But visit. you also hook up. Like I always think yeah, about you cruises. Do, like, don't you? well, nowadays, like if I go on a cruise, like of course I, you know, after a few drinks and getting romantic, and you just start looking at people, and everybody starts looking <laughs> real good looking. <laughs> up yeah, yeah, you're in the middle of the ocean. Yes, but These then are your you options. do things, and you and you hook up with somebody, and let's just say it goes bad or maybe they start liking you too much or just things get too sticky, you got to be stuck on that cruise with them for however long That's the rest true. of that cruise lasts. That's Sometimes the only thing weeks. about it. So Especially like if you, like, um, a lot of my friends perform on cruises. So the thing is, is that they perform as comedians and uh -huh. then they're stuck the whole time mm -hmm. on the cruise ship. So, but I think getting back to the Bravo thing, yes. they're just looking for different ways to make the shows exciting. Yes. I so think, I think yeah. this was just another way and it just didn't end up right, you know. Have you ever been on a vacation from hell? Like just a terrible vacation? <sighs> you know about this, I told you. <laughs> Dude, the worst vacation I've ever had didn't even start. Because a few years ago, I decided to have my whole family come together and go on a big family trip. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. We were going to Antigua. I was so excited. Yeah. It would be our first one. And my parents don't travel a lot. They save money all the time. So I was like, <laughs> me and my, my ex was like, let's do this. We're going to plan a family trip. We booked all the tickets. We told them ahead of time, get ready for it. It was Antigua. Beautiful. My dad packed his binoculars and books about <laughs> birds. It was everything. We arrive. Mama Mai and my dad are still not there. So San Francisco airport, crazy. We're boarding on the plane. Mama Mai calls me and says, they don't let me go on the plane. Something happened. Come. Uh -oh. So I had to get off the plane and run out. It turns out at the security gate, Mama Mai didn't bring her passport because she oh, thought Antigua no. was Hawaii. Oh. But she said everybody looks like tropical. Ah. So because she of the song. Passport. Antigua, Jamaica. Ooh, Ooh you I want. want yeah. Yeah, don't sing it, girl. Yeah, we have yeah, to pay know, for it. Okay. So then, <laughs> you guys, basically, Mama Mai brought no passport. She had, when I get, got to the security line, she had all these pork sausages and fruits because, like, yes. Asians like to bring fruit on yes, the plane. I don't think it says Bermuda. Jamaica. I guess. I know. I see you laughing. <laughs> I don't think it's Antigua. Sorry. Ran. She heard it as Antigua, too. I did. In my I head. Did. No, my mom did. I know. So, anyway, security didn't let my mom on. Mama Mai, Papa Mai, his binoculars around his neck. No. No, we cannot go. Why? And so nobody let my mom and my dad on the plane. We got stuck in California with bikinis and shorts for the rest of the holiday vacation. No refund on the trip. Oh, no. I was so mad. Really? Yes. Oh, all because oh, she girl. didn't have her passport. Yes. and That's just... so your fault, though. You should check your mama. Make this <laughs> damn her passport next time. Ain't nothing wrong with Mama Ma. She's always innocent. I love Mama Ma. But y'all are traitors, but, man. But I have a question. <laughs> Why didn't you get on the plane? You had a passport. Because I didn't want to leave my mom. She didn't want to leave Mama Ma. Yeah. Don't nobody want to have no vacation without Mama Ma. See, when, Ma, I, told, so that's it, when I told Adrian this story, she was like, girl, you should have got on the plane and just went without your family. <laughs> I'd have said, take the next flight. Boring. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure the housewives will have reservations before they step on that ship again. And speaking of reservations, now, U.S. Weekly, Us Weekly, is reported that this week, Justin Thoreau initially had reservations before saying I do to his soon-to-be ex-wife, Jennifer Ooh. Aniston. A source told Us Weekly that Justin felt hesitant due to the fact that they hadn't even figured out where they wanted to live as a couple and that the marriage was never important to Justin, but because Jennifer wanted a long-term contract, he Two got married contract. so he wouldn't lose her. I'm um, commitment, commitment, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, contract? I just feel like Love marriage is a contract, contract to me. That's how I feel. <laughs> but, okay, y'all do what you want. So, ladies, do you respect Justin listening to his heart? That means marrying her, even though he thought he was gonna lose her. Or looking back, should he have maybe listened to his head? I think you should always listen to your gut. Your gut is never wrong. Okay. You know what I mean? So I think that yeah. was probably his gut. 
telling him that? Pop, what about listening to both? How about yeah. that? <laughs> How about, about that? Well, because yeah. both, sometimes they cancel each other out, which is where... My thing... Well, okay, this is my question. If you, has, if you have hesitation in any marriage, should you do it? No! No, then no, So he no, shouldn't have no, got no, married no, to her. That's no, what you're saying. No. Mm -hmm. you should, I, no. I kind of feel for them in a way because you think it could work out. You know, what we're reading, and I don't know them, so I mm -hmm. want to just say... Right, right, right. This is a source telling us, so let's not, you know, believe everything is truth, but... Us it, Weekly it, is a respectable source. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Sure. But you know how in their statement, which I really enjoy, if you read their statement, their release of why they decided to divorce, it, it, they really do say, like, what we're telling you, if you hear it from us, this is the truth. Everything else out there is, right. a, is a fabrication mm -hmm. of that person's, yes. you know, You have version. to respect that. Yes, which I love. But the fact is, Justin did live in New York and that Jennifer has a place here in L.A. And just for my marriage, you know, that was a real... We thought that that could work. We legit was like... You know, my, my Freddie, he lived in uh, Harrisburg, and then he also had a place in... Uh... But did you ever have reservations uh, about that? Where did you have you... a place in... Oh Colorado. Colorado? Thank you. Colorado. Oh, my oh. God! <laughs> so we did, yeah. No, we did have reservations well, about we that. Well, we see why that happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, no, but real life, life. No, 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 okay. no, it's true. Real life, you guys, that is not easy. No. I, I think people think that long distance relationships, and for some it may work, for most it does not. And that's why you're smart, because you and Israel, you'll travel with Israel. You'll yes. pack up and go, even if Israel has a job, she's like, I'm gonna be right by <laughs> his be, side. I'll be in Nashville this weekend, people. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's important. We, but we made that commitment, and I think it's so important to have conversations where I, if I'm honest, you told us to do this, which I think was yeah. so smart. Yeah. We brought up the worst case scenarios or any concerns, issues. Like, literally, him and I have discussed what is the worst thing that could happen and how do we think we'd handle it. So you have to think about just the toughest decisions you'd ever have to make. God forbid if Israel got a job in New York, do I leave this yeah. job? Does he give up an opportunity of a lifetime? Those are real conversations yes. you have to have before you get married. If you find out that you have a child that has um, disabilities, how do you handle that? If, if the person if decides so many... not to work anymore and doesn't want to work, are uh, you okay yes. with being the sole provider? But the yes. initial real thing, question. the initial thing that he yes. said yes. was he was afraid he might lose her. Why? Why? He's because she wanted to get married. So she wanted the marriage and more he didn't. than he. That's what you can't make nobody want to get married. And yeah. the moment that you try to get somebody to do something that they don't want to do, red flag, people. Yep. Yep. Like yep. he didn't want marriage and you did. The best advice it I is ever what got. It is. it is. But he followed his heart because he didn't want to lose but her. But look what look what happened though. They're not together anymore. So it's like you lose them now, or you, you, lose, you lose, lose them later. later. Yeah. It's like when I didn't want to go through with my engagement. Tam was like, it's better to end it now mm -hmm. than to be married years ahead, and yes. then you've got to get divorced. And, and the best crying. advice I ever got Good. that legit still stands today. Yes. I don't know if it is for you guys, mm -hmm. but. When you see red flags before you get married, if you don't iron them yep. out like the way you did, really play out the worst scenario, yes. when you get married, those problems magnify a yes. thousand times more. Yes. That is so true. So I, I, I would advise say, everybody even, to remember that. You guys, that. even when I was dating, which was a long time ago, well, at least it feels that way. Yeah, Adam <laughs> and I would be married for seven years, May 5th. Wow. But that's not that long ago. It happened so quickly. Yeah. That's oh not my that goodness, but I'm when I had reservations, even while dating, I cut it off. Yeah. I was like, oh, why put myself through that? Yeah. I'm a true believer of following your gut. But yes. Your gut never lies. Oh, yeah. Don't try to talk yourself out You're of it. Okay. I mean, it's easy to say that, but I just think, too, that I think, honestly, when we know the story of Jennifer Aniston, we know the backstory, and I think she was put under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And I think that the tale, you know, even the... You know, just us regular people can look and say, even if you're put under pressure, don't don't, don't follow the pressure. Yes. Follow don't do what it. you want to do yeah. in life. Yeah. Don't do it. In I the end, say, this is what happens. Yeah. I always say, we can fall in love with people that we are not compatible with. I do all the time. Literally, <laughs> I have been in love with people that I was not compatible with. When I look down the line, I'm like, yo, this never would have worked out. We don't like the same things. We don't, enjoy, like, we're not on the same path. You can be in love with people and love people that you are not meant to be That's with. That's how I felt about Idris. You... I'm like, I knew it was the one gonna work. Yes, I no, it not. Was real. It just wasn't gonna work. You're so stupid. But seriously, <laughs> like, like, I just genuinely feel like 
and Jeannie, tell me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. We've both been in love with people that may be compatibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where what I want out of life is maybe not what you want. Maybe yes. where I want to live or my goals, my aspirations, yes. what I want for my career is not something. There, you have to be somewhat on the same path. Right. You know what I mean? Because you can love people, but long term, that isn't going to work because you're going in two completely different but sometimes, directions. Yes. But sometimes you think love can. I want you to speak on that. Yes, and that's you why I that. gave that analogy about the trees. Yeah. When you are two completely different people, when you blend together, trees naturally do this. If you plant two trees together, they begin to intertwine and they begin to actually grow together the and roots, they double the their lifespan because they become one and they get the nutrients from the ground and they begin to feed each other. That's a beautiful, you know, harmonious marriage. You, if you're not, you're two separate trees. You know how I knew Adam was the one for me? How, how girl? Because I didn't, just, <laughs> I didn't just see him as someone that I loved or, you know, that he could be my husband. I saw that he could be my life. Or could life. make good drinks. Yes, or make great drinks. I saw him as my life yes. partner. Yes. In That's life. what it's about. I wanted That's to do it's about. everything with him. But you like Adam. I but like also, that don't is... you initially think that That's when true. you're in love no, with somebody? No, no, no. I no. promise Sometimes, you. and we've said this before, sometimes love is just not enough. It isn't, it isn't. You can love that person, but at some point, you may not be compatible with that person. Ding. You may not be on the same page. And then in the end, it just doesn't work out. No. Giving you gems here That's today, people. <laughs>